Terence Howard and welcome to this short video. So this video is called Captain the Ship of Your Own Recovery, which may sound a little metaphorical, but what I'm really referring to is how to get the very best out of any treatment you do at the Optum Health Clinic or indeed anywhere else that you're having any treatment. You see, we're so used to, especially I think in, in the UK, in this country, we're so used to giving away our power to anyone in a position of medical authority or wisdom or whatever. So it's like we go and see the doctor and we say, this is what's wrong with me. And they say, right, this is the drug or the treatment. And we go home and we take it. There's a very passive way of engaging in a sense that we just follow instructions. And I think that works with, with many um, many conditions, but when it comes to something that's more chronic and is more multifaceted, and there are many different perspectives, and you're dealing with something where it may be that no one person or even no one organization necessarily has all of the answers for you, that ultimately we have to be the one that steers and we have to be the one which is the captain of the ship of our own recovery. And that doesn't mean that we have to make all the decisions on our own and we have to kind of um, push people away and, you know, have it all figured out. One of the things about being the captain of the ship is you may not be the best person at the different jobs on the ship, but you're the person that has the overall picture and helps bring it all together. So you may well be working with the psychology team, for example, here at the Optum Health Clinic. You might be working with the nutrition team. You might be working with some other practitioners and some capacities beyond the clinic. The key, though, is that you understand enough about where you are and what you're doing. You understand how the different pieces fit together that you can really navigate moment to moment, day to day, what you need to be doing. And often what I find is part of what really helps this is not just knowing what we're doing, but knowing why we're doing it in terms of why we're using certain protocols and understanding how it all comes together. Now, initially, we can often be quite reluctant. You know, we get ill with something like chronic fatigue and we just want to be better. And then often what happens is we realize that it's, it's a complicated path. And hopefully then we get more engaged in the process, that we start to do more research, start to understand more about it. And I think you'll find that the more that you do that, the more effective your, your engagement becomes on your recovery path. Certainly back when I was ill, I ended up getting to the point that I would go and see practitioners and I knew far more about how what they did applied to my situation than they did. But they knew much more than I did about the tests and the supplements and the different treatments. So you have an active engagement in the relationship and you're empowered and you're working in collaboration with the people you're working with. And we certainly find, as a team of practitioners, that those patients that trust us to do our job, but actively engage in the process and do their homework and apply what we're talking about and read around things and understand why we're doing what we're doing, it's a much more effective partnership. So it can be feel like a daunting task, and we do the very best we can to make the path as easy as we can for you. But I really think you'll find that the path becomes easier the more actively engaged you become in the journey.